I'm Dominic Rosales. I work for a family owned and operated septic company here in the hill country of Texas. We specialize in cleaning and maintaining both septic and grease traps on residential and commercial properties. I'm going to show you how we fully unclog and pump out a septic system. A septic tank contains everything that exits the house through any wastewater pipe or drain line. That includes the sinks, toilets, showers, bathtubs. And then what happens is over the years, sludge tends to build up and that requires the tank to be completely cleaned out to prevent solids from flowing into the drain lines of the septic system. So here we have a septic tank that's being clogged up by a huge quantity of baby wipes. The baby wipes have been sitting in the septic tank for over seven years, which was the last time the septic tank was serviced. So whenever you look at a package that says flushable wipes, what they mean is flushable into city sewer. Now, I understand this can be misleading because it does say flushable, but you need to realize that it's not biodegradable and will remain in your septic tank until the next septic tank cleaning. So the first thing I look for when I pull up to a property are the vent pipes located on the roof. Those usually align with the sewer pipes under the house, which lead to the clean out and then the septic tank. So when we probe and hit the tank, we're able to get a rough estimate of how deep the actual tank is. And that echo will let us know that we're in the right spot and that we have located the tank. And then we can start to dig. So when I open up this septic tank lid, the first thing I notice is a huge clump of baby wipes. When I'm digging up a septic tank, the first side I'm digging up is the inlet side, which contains a majority of the sludge, and that's usually where the clog is located. So the other side of the septic tank is the outlet side. That side contains mostly dirty water. It rarely contains solids. I use my hose to try and vacuum out the baby wipes, but they're just too thick, so I have to bring out the three-prong rake. I then use the three prong rake to pull out all the baby wipes inside of the septic tank, bag them up, and then dispose of them at the local wastewater plant along with the septic waste which we pull from the septic tank. We're pumping out the septic tank until we're able to see the bottom. Then we'll rinse the bottom of the septic tank with the water hose to ensure that it's left clean for the customer. So once we've reached the bottom of the septic tank, we're going to ask the customer to flush the toilet to ensure that everything is exiting the house and entering the septic tank. People that are on septic systems need to keep in mind that everything that enters the septic tank is going to be there until it's cleaned out besides the water. So if that's grease, plastics, paper, whatever's not being able to be broken down by bacteria is going to stay in the tank permanently. We recommend pumping out septic tanks every three to five years or based off the sludge level inside of your tank. If your septic tank does clog, there is a chance that if you do keep running water and keep flushing, everything you're flushing is not able to exit the home, so it can begin to start coming out of your toilets or your showers. Usually it's the thing that has the most capacity, which is usually the bathtub if somebody has that. 